set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And a short kick taking it about the 16. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action. It's McNair. That's complete to Ward. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Down. McNair. That's caught at the two. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Second and goal from the one. At the one yard line. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. No They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand? And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, New Orleans. Julio Jones. 65 yards, and the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. A fairly short kick from the 14. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. 
On first and ten is Connor. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Now McNair. Out to his left. Ebron with it over the middle. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. He'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now McNair off the play fake. This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Now Bell. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A 6-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up for offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Taking it about the one. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further at their own 20-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A gain of 12. And the Saints first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they called him in the right defense there. Nickel set. Fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> good run there. On second down, it's Taylor. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. Time rolls around. Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. After the loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. 
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Trying to get it to Ebron, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. On first down, Archer. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Thanks. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that is incomplete here. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now, Breeze again. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Time to go to work. They're able to Let's convert go. on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Breeze to throw again. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. He's past the 30. He will score. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three, taking it about the one. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Breeze. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. First down, New Orleans. Breeze now. 
Left side here to Sanders. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Breeze now on first down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. First down. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and it's second down. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 6. That'll leave them with 3rd and 4. They face a 3rd and 4 after that last completion gets them 6. Again, it's Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A 9-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Ties the game at 21 apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. On the return, here's Dre Archer. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You talk about closing in a hurry as a safety and run support. Not only did he get a good run in, he gave a pretty good pop, too, and finished off the play behind the line of scrimmage. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on it and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Here's McNair. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Back now in Pittsburgh. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. The end result was brute force on brute force, but think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On the give, this is their fullback. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. 
first and 10 at the 15-yard line. They'll toss this out right for Connor. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. They give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Le'Veon Bell. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. here just past the 20 yard line first and 10 at their own 22 yard line the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so I'd say come out just kind of get started again, you know? Doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Back to throw, Breeze. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This duo locked in 14 yards there, and a first down. To throw is Breeze. And once again, this is Sanders. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that with a very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. He gets it left side to Johnson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. And the Saints first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Archer, the return. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 
Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick is indeed good. 